your generation, your generation is in need somebody to step up to the plate. And I believe the key is your worship. Religion does not equal relationship. Your generation is starving for authentic relationship. Most of your relationships are digital. The social construct and fabric of your life is very different because now all your relationships are based on how fast your thumbs can respond to text. But when I was growing up, we actually had to go outside and play. Y'all don't even know what that is like, what's go outside? The tension in your life is the distance between your projected image and your actual self. God says, this weekend I want you to pull that mask off and be who you really are because I'm not ashamed of it. But God, I got some dirt on me. I've got some darkness. You ain't read Genesis? He created Adam from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living being. God is not repelled by dirt. He's attracted to it. God will breathe into dirt. Darkness doesn't scare God. He'll speak to darkness and illuminate it. That's what this weekend is. You saved me from myself. He created you a speaking spirit, which means we create with our words. We are meant to create with our words. Everything that is coming out of your mouth is creating something. It's building your faith. With your words, you create your world. We don't ever have to call into question what our identity is. We put our trust in Christ. He took that wrath for us. He took that forsaking for us. We can never say that God will forsake us. We never have to ask that question, God, why have you forsaken me? We may feel that way at some times. And we feel like, God, where are you at? Why have you forsaken me? Jesus says, you don't have to ask that question because I've already asked it in your place. Tell me, can you catch me? I'm falling. He will use us to stand in the gap if we take our proper position. So sin does not overcome in the world, but grace will much more abound. God wants to put you into position so you can change the city, you can change this earth, you can go to the top of the mountain and you can say that my God is the one who put me here. In the midst of everything that we see, where there's gross darkness, light is still there. I decree in the name of Jesus that where one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand. And there's enough young people in this house tonight to change the entire world.